Hello everyone and welcome to your first online clarinet lesson. My name is Mr. Co Francesco. I go by Mr. Co and I'm super excited to be your band teacher this year and help you become the best instrumental musician that you possibly can be. Uh, we're gonna need a couple of materials today for our first lesson. So make sure you have handy your sheet of clarinet first lesson. Uh, make sure you also have handy with you this sheet right here on how to properly put together your clarinet mouthpiece. Make sure you have a music stand, mine's over here. And of course, make sure you have your clarinet. If you need any of those materials, please take a second, pause this video and go grab whatever you need. Let's get started. Follow along with me on number one on your clarinet first lesson sheet that says number one, getting ready. Number one, getting ready, open your case so that the latches and the label, if present, are facing you. So go ahead and grab your clarinet right now, grab the case. So remember the latches are right here. They're the part that you can open and close in order to open your case safely. Um, and those need to be facing you. So mine will be facing me. And then we're looking for the label also facing us. So the label is the name of the company that makes your instrument. Mine is Yamaha, yours might say something else, but we are going to make sure that that is facing up. If it was facing down and you open this, your clarinet would kind of fall out um, and it could get damaged. So we wanna make sure that everything is facing the right way. Latches facing you label facing up towards you. All right, so once that is good, you're going to open your case. And what I'd like you to do is to take this case, put it on the ground and open those latches, open that case up, and you're going to need the following. Your mouthpiece, which looks like this, it might be in a black case or a metal case like mine is with the ligature, that's that silver thing, right? Sorry, my finger was in the way, silver thing. You're gonna need your barrel, which is that short little piece of black tube. And you're gonna need a reed. And also while we're here, why don't we take out some cork grease if you have it as well, which kind of looks like a little piece of chapstick. Grab those things. Once you have all four of those things, you're gonna close up your case, put those latches back on and put that back um, on the floor somewhere or out of the way. We're not gonna use the rest of it today. So. Um, number three on getting ready, remove the reed from the reed holder and place it on your tongue. So remember, you're going to pull this out, just holding the base of the reed. Don't touch that tip, right? With uh, your finger and put that right in your mouth. All right, so you keep that in your mouth while I continue to talk um, so that it gets nice and moist. What we're going to uh, do now is put the mouthpiece together, number two. Um, and what I would first recommend you doing is if you need me to go slow on this, I have a separate video that is all about how to put the clarinet mouthpiece together. It's called Clarinet and Saxophone Mouthpiece Assembly. You can find it on uh, my YouTube page as well. And that takes it way slower. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time going back over that today. Um, so if I'm going too fast for you right now, pause this video and open that one up, okay? If you feel ready, Go ahead and take off your mouthpiece cover if you have one. Take that reed out of your mouth. Move that ligature up a little bit so that that mouth or that reed, sorry, fits in between the mouthpiece and the ligature and line that baby up. Good. And then we're gonna slide that ligature down, tighten it just a little bit with a couple of turns away from me. Not too tight though. And then a uh, quick check, uh, always remember uh, that you have that second sheet that I gave you um, with a picture of how the reed should look, which looks like this. So when you're ready, check and make sure that it looks like that and do a quick check too from the opposite side, right? Not from this side, but from this side, if you can see your reed in this view, that means it's up too high and you have to slide it down a little bit. So mine looks good. Um, the last thing it says on number two assembly of the mouthpiece is twist and connect the barrel, which is this one, to the mouthpiece. So reminder that your mouthpiece goes on the skinny end of the barrel. And before we do that, if you have some cork grease with you, that's a great time to just uh, put a little dab along the cork just to make sure it is safe and healthy and is not gonna get damaged. It'll go on the barrel way easier that way. So just put a little bit on, rub it in with your fingers, and then without touching the tip, right, we're going to slide 
that mouthpiece onto the barrel. So this is as much as we're going to put together today. Number three says posture on our sheet. So number three, sit up straight on the edge of your chair. So we're not sitting all the way back in our chair, but we are sitting up forward on the edge of our chair with your feet flat on the floor. Remember, posture is how we hold our body, and the more straight we hold our body, the bigger breath we're allowed to take, and the more beautiful sound we're gonna come out of our clarinet. Um, lastly, it says, set up your music stand with this paper at a comfortable distance in front of you. So you should be able to still read along with me, but it's not gonna be so close that it's in your way if you have to move. All right, number four says embouchure. Embouchure is how our mouths make the sound. It is the shape that we need to put our mouth in in order to play our instrument. Read along with me under embouchure. Stretch out your lower lip against your teeth as if you were putting on chapstick. So you gotta kinda put your lip over your teeth like that, like you're gonna put some chapstick on. Remember that your mouthpiece read side down, goes against that bottom lip like this, okay? The second thing says, place your top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece. Like this. Kind of like you're a bunny rabbit and I can see your teeth chewing. Um, if you are not putting those teeth on, you're not gonna be able to get the sound that we need. I'm gonna come around during class. I'm gonna wiggle your mouthpiece until I feel those teeth holding it in place, okay? So um, once those steps are done, you're going to breathe through your mouth in and then seal your lips around the mouthpiece and blow. So we need to kind of close our mouth around that shape that we're making. So step by step, one more time. Here, here, close. That's what it should look like, okay? So let's give that a try. We're going to do all those steps one more time. Breathe in and blow and see what comes out. Okay, bottom lip. Put it there, teeth, close. Ready, breathe in with me, one, two. Ready, play. Nice job. All right, let's try it one more time, following those steps. And I know I can do a little bit better. Let's see if you can do a little bit better too. Follow those steps. Bottom lip, top lip, or top teeth, I should say. Close your lips and breathe in, ready, go. Stop right there, what a beautiful sound. I promise it gets a lot be more beautiful once we put the rest of the instrument together, but we gotta make sure we can make a sound before we put all the instrument together, okay? If um, you're having trouble, I might have the issue um, found out already. So uh, here is something that a lot of students do that they don't even know they're doing. So watch me quick and see if you can figure out what I'm doing. What did you notice? Did you see how my cheeks got really, really puffed out? That is not what we're looking for. You could kind of hear my sound going all over the place when I did that because my cheeks were puffed out. So we really wanna make sure those cheeks are staying in by tightening the corners of our lips like this so that um, we have a more steady and stable sound. All right, try it one more time and make sure that you're not puffing out those cheeks. Ready? One, two. Ready, go. All right, nice job. If you're having trouble with that, you can always follow bullet point number four and use a mirror to make sure you're puffing out your cheeks. That's a really easy thing to spot if you're looking in the mirror. Maybe you're not aware of you're doing it while you're just playing until you look at yourself and say, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. All right, let's move on to number five, things to try. The first thing says 10, uh, play 10 long, smooth sounds without puffing your cheeks. We've already done that a bunch, so I'll let you pause the video and do 10 in a row. Number two says try different ta and tt patterns that you learned in music class. We will do that in just a second. And the last thing says prepare for the longest note competition by timing how long you can hold out a note. There will be a challenge uh, to see if anyone can top me and play a note on their mouthpiece in barrel longer than me. So I'll give you a quick second to practice with me. Are you ready? All right. Get your embouchure ready. One, two, big breath. Ready, go.
Whew. How'd you do? Did you beat me? I can't wait to see in class. There will definitely be some prizes if you can top that. All right, number six and the last bit of playing we're gonna do for the day says ta and tt patterns. Try playing these patterns. First, say the pattern out loud, then play the pattern on your mouthpiece. So have your mouthpiece in your hand, but first we're going to just say them. I'm gonna count us in and you're gonna say the rhythm along with me. Ready? One, two, say it, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Okay, grab your mouthpiece. Get that embouchure ready, and let's try it together. One, two, play it, go. Nice job. If you need to rewind and try it again, feel free to do so until you nail it. I'm gonna keep moving to the second one. Say it, one, two, say it, go. T, 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 ta, ta. Okay, grab your mouthpiece, get that embouchure ready. One, two, play it, go. Nice job again. If you need to practice that one again, feel free to rewind and do it again until you got it. And our final one, this final one does have a rest in it. Reminder that you need to make sure that you are not playing or saying anything. I'll say rest, but you just think it in your head. Okay, one, two, say it, go, ta, ta. Ta. Okay, one more time on our mouthpiece now. Embouchure. One, two, ready, go. Nice job. If you need to practice any of those, feel free to rewind and keep going, keep practicing. I am expecting everybody to come in next lesson writing their own ta and tt pattern as well. So make sure after every time you practice this, you also come up with your own pattern. You can use ta, you can use tt, you can use a rest. Just make sure it's original. And then when you come back to class, you will tell us what it is. And us as the class, we will all play it together. Okay? So before we finish up here, we will talk about the bottom section of your page down here where you keep track of your practicing. It says, each day you practice this week, check off a box below. Each day you practice, you should do all of number three, things to try, and all of number four, ta and tt patterns. Try to play five to seven times this week to grow your sound. So what you're gonna practice is putting the mouthpiece together, assembly, the things to try box, and ta and tt pattern. So say it's day one, you did the assembly. You check that off for day one. You do the things to try all of them. You check that box off. And ta and tt patterns, you check that off. I need to see all those boxes checked hopefully five to seven times this week. If you need to miss a day because you're busy, I understand, no problem. Still try and aim for that five to seven. Also, you're allowed to practice more than one time per day. That also counts. So if you have some time on the weekend, maybe in the morning and in the afternoon or evening, that will count as two. All right, and then just please make sure to get that parent's uh, signature or guardian signature on your sheet to bring it back to me next week. Great job practicing with me. I'm really proud of you and I can't wait to see you for our next lesson. Keep practicing. Bye.